Welcome back to the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide. This episode will get us started with retexturing clothing and armors in the game. We will discuss and install UNP armor replacers by Exeter, improved NPC clothing, improved closed faced helmets, and finish up with the Dawn of the Dawn Guard armors. Hey guys, it's Calvin Dirty Weasel. In this episode, we're going to be trying to make all of our vanilla armors look a lot better. And, you know, this episode probably should have come, you know, in episode 10, but I want to get the playtesting done. And there's a reason why playtesting is important. After I release episode 10, a subscriber by the name of Francois Notier wrote me and said that there was a problem with WSCO. He said that when you strip down female bodies, they're completely nude. Well, that's a problem because, you know, I run a, you know, safe for family website and I don't want any nude characters running around. And playtesting would have showed that to me because when you're doing mod testing, and there is a difference between mod testing and playtesting. When you're doing mod testing, you just go around and look at things and you'll know, look at the aspects of the mod. When you're doing playtesting, you play the game as you normally would and things like this would have popped up. And the picture you see is what happens when you go out and, you know, kill a female bandit, take her armor, and she ends up being nude. Well, that's no good. Luckily, the solution is in the first set of mods we're going to show you today, and they are UNP replacer bodies for vanilla armor and clothing for the female armors. So, you know, it's UNP female armors by Exeter. All three of the mods you're going to see in this first segment are by Exeter, and they just basically cover different aspects of the game. In this case, it's mod 7305, and basically, UNP Female Armors replaces all the vanilla base game, not Dragonborn, not uh, Dawnguard, armors and clothing for the UNP body to make it look more like they are in line with that body set. And you can go ahead, I'll show you these pictures. And basically, you know, you can kind of see the difference. You know, the female body for Vanilla looks a little frumpy in a lot of armor. She doesn't have a lot of definition, no real shape to her at all. And some, some of the changes that uh, UMP Female Armors by Exeter does, you know, some are more obvious than others. And, you know, but overall, they're, they are an improvement. And you can see the difference there. So, you know... When you, you know, do these, these are basically meshes. In meshes, there's a difference between meshes and textures. And the way to remember meshes is that it is the shape of an object and textures like what color it is, what it looks like on the outside, just the shape versus color, let's say. And textures basically are all your, you know, what an armor looks like, the, the, cue, the hue, the color, you know, all the little details like that. But the actual mesh is provided by Exeter for the UAP female armors. So let's go ahead and go into files and we'll take a look at what we're going to, you know, download and take a look at. And the main file is UMP armors version 2.1. It adapts default armor and clothing. It changes a lot of the clothings to the UMP base body. Uh, the second one is the UMP boot pack. It adjusts the boots and shoes to better fit the UMP body types. Some combinations of armor and boots will still show clipping. I didn't see a lot of the problems with the boot pack, you know, with the boots, but I'm not that picky because I don't play a lot in third person. It seems like the most, pro most common thing is to have part of the foot clipped through the bottom of the boot. By installing the boot pack, you'll solve that problem, but you may have clipping around the cuffs of the boots where the boot meets the armor. All right, so there's that. Uh, updates, if you use the UNPB body, here's the height armor fix. We are not updating to a new version from a previous version, but there's one for that. Optional files, so you keep coming down there. So here's a foot wrap fix, very minor thing. Meshes for UNPB users, we're not using that. Nocturnal robe for base UMP body, so if you really want the nocturnal robe, you'll need that one. And this is the one that's going to solve the UNP base underwear body. And you can see the picture, you know, Fiona was completely nude. I never really paid attention to it. But with the, with the underwear on, this is what she'll look like all the time. So you never have to worry about your kiddos walking in a room and saying, Mommy, why is the little lady naked? So there you go. Solves that. 
So for me, I just downloaded the main file, the UNP Armors version 2.1, download that with Manager, and the UNP base underwear body, download that with Manager. I would go into Mod Organizer and show you that, but since these are all related and by the same author, we'll just move on to the next one. And that is UNP Don God Armors by Exeter. Now, this basically is mod number 22033. See, I almost forgot again. Same sort of issue. I mean, it's just meshes, no textures really. And it's UNP Don God Army, Armors for base body versus the UNP Don God Armors for the slim body. Slim body is not what WSCO provides, so it may look a little different. I would just get the UNP base body one right here. And then UNP Don God Armors for UNP B body. And here's a boot patch if you really need that. A patch for the vampire boots. You can download these together. And then UNP Blind Moth Pre Sandals. Anytime you want to get something like the boots things or the sandal thing, you're just going to merge it into the base files. And I'll, it's basically the same thing as before, as what I'm going to show you right next. Okay. So there's that, the Dawn God armors. And then the last of the trio here is the UNP Dragonborn armors by Exeter 31392. And basically does the same thing as all the others, but for the Dragonborn and the Dragonborn clothes and armors that are applied to that. On this main files, the UNP Dragonborn armor. And basically, it's the UMP female body. This is the one we want, but you have slim, dragonborn, UMP B bodies. These don't aren't what you want. And then you have the slim, heavy chitin fix if you're using the slim body. So on this, of course, download that with Manager. When you go on over to Mod Organizer, you'll see the four ones that we did. We did the UMP armors. That's for the vanilla armors. The underwear. Don Guard and Dragonborn. What we do on this is there will be no ESPs for this. And we'll just do the UNP armors first. And we'll double click to install. And it's going to show UNP female armors. Just remember that. Manual, right click, set data directory. You'll see there are meshes and textures in this. And when you open the textures up, it's going to be close, bandit, the bandit dot. What is bandit f dot dds and the bandit f n dds? If you want to open that up and take a look at it, these are the only textures that all four of the mods will be installing, but that's basically it right there. We're going to leave these in right now. We'll look for conflicts later on, and if we need to get rid of them, we can simply do that by hiding the files when we open up the archives. Okay, but this looks good. For right now, we'll just leave that as it is, and we'll click OK. And we'll activate it. We'll give it a look here, and the only things it's changing is the legendary patch and part one of the high-res text pack. That's, that's fine. I actually like that a lot. So we're going to slide this up uh, probably right underneath when, eh, let's go underneath like Argonian roots. So, you have all your body mods, and then you have the change for the meshes that will change the UNP body mods. And probably the only one that would be really necessary is that one. I'm going to leave it below Forgotten Over on Your Roots for my own sanity's sake. So we're also going to solve the base underwear body. So let's go ahead and double click that to install. And you can see it remembered UNP female armors. And that's probably from me testing it. I would suggest going ahead, and if you don't have the same thing here, you'll probably actually have that UMP base underwear body if you're doing a first time install. I would go ahead and type in UMP female armors so that we're going to be, end up merging it into the original mod. Manual, right click, set data directory, and you can see on this, it just meshes. There you go. That's all it's doing is changing those meshes. And it looks good like that. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to say, do you want to merge or replace? We are going to merge it in. And there it is. It just popped right in there. So we're going to do the same thing with Dawn Guard and Dragonboard. Double click. 
And you see UMP Don Guy Armors. It didn't remember it this time. So we actually have to put that in female armors. Make sure it's spelled exactly the same with all capitals as needed. Okay. Manual, right click, set data directory, meshes only. Looks good. And once again, we're going to merge it in. And then finally, Dragonborn. Double click to install. It is not in my options, so we're going to once again change its name. Female armors. Manual, right click, set data directory, meshes looks good. And click OK. Same thing as before, merge it in. So there's that. Now when you double click on this, you'll see now it's made changes. We'll just close that down for a second. Now it's made changes to Winsong, which is perfectly fine. I don't have any problems with this at this point. I'm going to right click, ignore update, and we are going to open it up to the file tree just to make sure everything got in here. You see meshes and textures. The only texture was that bandit thing. And if you wanted to hide that, I would just go ahead and hide the entire file. But for right now, we'll leave it as is because we don't know what further changes we do with textures. If this becomes you know, something that gets overwritten by one of these, we'll go ahead and remove it. But for right now, we'll just leave it in. And the meshes, you can see all the actors, armor, clothes, and then of course the DLCs, which was Dongard and Dragonborn. Okay, so that is all proper. So there you go. That one is done. All right, so let's move on. We've got our next mod we're gonna put up and that is Improved NPC Clothing High Res by Baron David. It is mod 2674. I didn't take a lot of pictures of this. I, I basically installed it uh, based off a recommendation from a friend and started looking around. I didn't really need pictures because these pictures are pretty good. I think these are sufficient. If you go through the image tab, there's plenty of good stuff in here and you can see the quality is, is really quite nice. There's some uh, stuff we need to do on this as far as installing it. And I'm going to, excuse me, go right into the description here. You can see in this first section, these are all the clothings that have been enhanced and they're all 512 by 512. There is an expansion pack and it is, these are all 1K textures, 1024 by 1024 for Emperors, Mages, Warlock, Thalmor, Necromancer, Redguard. So you can see exactly what you get there. Now, files on this, there are actually a number of them that you can look at and all of them have either dirt or no dirt. This first one is all 2K textures. And I'll tell you this much, 2K versus 1K, it's not gonna make that much of a difference to you. I think that the 1K is fine. This is 2K, this is 2K. This is the expansion pack, which has the Warlocks, Red Guard, and the Emperors. You can see all the description right there. Notice this is a standalone file and does not overwrite 1.8.1. So if you decided to get that, the 2K version, you would just pop this in. But I decided I don't want to go with a 2K because I didn't think it was that big of a difference. So if you come down and you keep scrolling down here, under optional files, you will have 1K versions, simply 1K versions with the default amount of dirt and with more dirt. And if you go back into the pictures, into the image section, there's some good examples of what more dirt looks like. Make your decision. I would suggest just go ahead and getting that. So we talked about, we need to, say, we need to download this with manager. And if you want the expansion pack with emperors, mages, monks, necromancers, red guard, Thalmor, warlock, go ahead and get the expansion pack. You notice the expansion pack is much larger. So just keep that in mind. It is a lot of textures because there's a lot of 2K textures in there. So let's go into Mod Organizer. We'll take a look at it. All right, so you have M improved NPC clothing right there. This is the 1024. This is the normal resolution, the, what they call a high res. High res basically means the same as the, the high res DLC pack that they you know, included with Skyrim. So it's about the same quality, but trust me, they look a heck of a lot better. So double click to install. You can see you go manual, right click data, set data directory, 
it is just textures. Go ahead and click OK to install and activate. I would go ahead and ignore that update because we are up, you know, what with one of the optional files. That's why it gave us that message. Now you can see basically it is overriding. Where's it overriding? Oh, it's up here. Didn't activate fast enough. Skyrim legendary patch, the unmanaged high res tech, and the high resolution patch. Okay, not a big deal. So on these, you could actually move them up with the rest of your textures anywhere in there because textures don't really matter so much as far as load order. That's just something that you can do. I mean, you just move these around. So the expansion pack, this is the high res, uh, some 1K and some 2K textures. If you wanted to install this, I'm not sure I do. I don't, I think just for those numbers, but maybe for mages and necromancers, I, I'm not sure. But anyways, they will look a lot better. So it's up to you on what you want to do on that. Double click to install manual. Set the directory on top. And we are going to change the title on this. Actually, we don't need to, it's already set. So I guess it remembered from what I was testing before. And it looks good. Go ahead and click OK. It's going to give you the option to merge it in and you merge that in. So we open this up now and you go over to your file tree you have all the textures for all the clothing. So we talked about the emperor, emperor's in here, right? There he is. So that's your indicator that you have successfully installed that second supplemental pack. So you can close that. Like I said, it's a texture pack. You can go anywhere in this area, anywhere you want. Doesn't really matter. We'll head back. And the second mod we're gonna look at in this segment is improved close face helmets. This is one of my favorite mods. I think that this is something that was sorely missing in Skyrim was the ability to see eyes behind visors and full faced helmets. You can see some of the pictures I'll have scrolling by, but basically improved closed face helmets changes the meshes inside the game to take out the little insets that cover the eyes. And it looks great. I mean, some of them kind of look a little creepy with the Dwarmer one. Yeah, that looks creepy but it works very well. So on this, you have files and it is the improved close face helmets, legendary edition. You definitely want that one. So download that with manager. And then there is one fix for this. And where is it? I always forget where it is. It is, oh, there it is. The male corundum dragon priest mass texture fix. Download that. It, fixes something with a male corundum dragon priest mask. It's a very small fix, but you definitely need it. So the last one on this is the improved close face helmets patches. This is an optional file. I'll show you it, but basically it contains patches for other mods that you'll, that you can install later. So these three top files, legendary edition, the patches, if you need the patches, and the male corundum dragon priest, you definitely want that one. Okay, so those three download with the manager. Come over to mod organizer, and it is there it is the improved closed faced helmets legendary edition. Double click to install manual, right click, set data directory, meshes. Remember, we talked about meshes are structures, and that's taking out the little insert over the eye so you can actually see them. And an ESP, that's fine. Go ahead and click OK to install and activate. There will be a plugin on this and it's all the way down there at the bottom. When we get towards the end, I'll go ahead and run loop, but let's get the other parts installed. So the male corundum mask, you can see it right there, dragon priest mask. Double click to install manual. You can see the name is already set correctly and it is simply the meshes. It redid the meshes for that dragon priest mask. Click OK and merge it in. Not much to see on this. It's just changing Dragonborn and Legendary Edition patch and the original Skyrim ESM. So we can move this anywhere, really. Oops, excuse me. You can move this up anywhere you really like. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference, but it's something to keep in mind. If something comes along and changes that e that uh, those meshes, you'll want to know that. And the general rule on improved closed face helmets that if you have something that changes the mesh on this, drop it down below whatever it is. So it always wins. That's, a, that's all you need to remember on that. So the last thing we'll look at is the patches. And I noticed I didn't install this. I just, you know, 
tested it out, but I didn't install it all the way. I just wanted to see it. So double click to, it to install. We'll walk through it. And there's a README with this. Let's see if we can open it up a little bit more. So all up-to-date patches for improved closed faith elements are installed here. All right. Certain mods are strictly incompatible, cannot be patched without a new mesh being made, or have patches for this mod hosted on their own pages. This information can be found in the README, so just know where that is. So go ahead and click Next. There is a README attached to this, and that's a good thing to have. Click Next, and here is all the patches. And these are individual mods, and there will be a description with each of them that you can see for Dova Rabbit, Dova Bit. Yeah, there's one for that too. So you can see the little bunny's eyes. Isn't that cute? But anyways, they'll just give you a description with each one. Silver Knight, Helgen Reborn, you know, Warmonger Armory, the whole thing. So even Legacy of the Dragonborn. All right. So if you don't have any of those, do not click them. If you do, go ahead and click them. And we click Next. And these are the Dragon Priest Mask Texture Mods. It, by default, it has no Dragon Priest Mask options. But these are the different mods that you have that affect Dragon Priest Mast. Okay? And the accoutrement. Kotorix. Konorix accoutrement. All right, retexture. All right. Just I wanted to show you that so you knew about the, the options that you have, but you may need a patch if you have one of the mods that were listed in this patch section. I'm just going to cancel because I don't need any of these patches. I don't. So there you go, that is installed. Now, when you run loot, let's go back to our plugins. When you run loot, and sort, and apply. We know where we're gonna go with this, so let's go down. Yeah, there's no messages. You know, so I don't have any errors or anything going on right now, so we're looking good. So go ahead and just close that out. It didn't change it. If you check on, just hover over it, and it'll give you your masters, Don Guard, Dragonborn, Skyrim, update. Okay. You could technically put this anywhere, and loot's not going to mess with it. So if you wanted to put it up with the other type ESPs that control that type of stuff, like WSCO, that would probably work just fine. But that's going to be up to you. And that may change over time, and let loot figure that out for you until you know that there's a direct problem. All right? That's why we use loot. So that's why I just wanted to show you that it will still work. I mean, loot will go ahead and do the same thing. It's not, won't make a change on it. Yep. See, it didn't change it. I mean, loot didn't really care. It didn't see a need to move it from where you had it. All right. So that's all you need to know on that. So let's go back to our downloads. I'm going to clean some of these up here. And we will finish up with our last mod. And that is the Dawn of the Dawn God armor. And you may be asking yourself why I'm doing Dawn Guard armor first. And that's because A Medrian Born is going to be our mainstay for all of the retextures of the armors that we'll be doing. But I had some questions about it. I thought that I wanted to delve a little bit deeper and it would take really too much time to do in this episode. So we'll be doing the Dawn Guard first. If you want to see what I'm doing, I'm basically going through all of the zip files, unpacking them, and comparing what I need and what I don't need. Okay, so a meter inborn is going to be a big thing. So just keep that in mind. I'll just do this, close that. So we'll do that in the next episode. So let's go back and Dawn, Dawn of the Dawn Guard Armor by Red Tox, mod number 64559. I don't think I covered that in the other one. You know, mod numbers on improved close face helmets. But, you know, everything's in the description, so you can go find it appropriately. So, it's a retexture of the Dawnguard armor. It's no secret there is no good HD retexture of this armor on the Nexus. And he's absolutely right. A. Medrian Borden did not do it. He may say in one of the added contents that you need Dawnguard to run it, it doesn't change the Dawnguard armor. He doesn't have any of them. And this is probably the best one that I found. It is actually quite good if you want to see a preview of any of the videos, you can do that. But basically, it affects the helmet, armor, gloves, boots, and shields. Now, it does work with improved closed face helmets. So, you don't need to worry about that. If you want to see proof, I'll put up a picture. There's a picture right there. See? It works just fine. So, files on this. Dawn of the Dawn Guard armor, a 4K version and a 2K version. It is 2K armor, 1K boots and helmet gloves, 
a 2K, 1K shield. Shield looks pretty good, actually. So is the helmet. It looks a little rough, but it looks over pretty good overall. I think the armors are very good in this. And I, I think that they're very attractive. And they have multiple options for colors. So I think this kind of falls in line with the same improvement of Midrian. You can see that Red Tox and a Midrian Born have, or uh, excuse me, so why did I say that? Cabal 120 has a slightly different style, but I think they fit very well. Of course, you know, because we are we don't need 4K version. Why do you need a 4K version? Unless you're doing pretty, pretty screenshots. 2K version will be fine. Download that with Manager. And that's all there is to it on that. And on Mod Organizer, you can see it's right there. Dawn of the Dawn Guard Armor, 2K. Double click to install, Manual. And you can see it is just textures yet again. Click OK. Activate it. Give it a second to populate. Yep. And it's just doing the high res pack and Dawn Guard. Like before, you can put this anywhere. I think there will be fine. But, you know, that, that basically it. There's no ESPs to, to worry about that. Like again, it's just textures. That's it, guys. Like I said, next episode, we'll be tacking, tackling a Midrian Born. Finish up with the armor retextures. And we'll start getting into the weapon retextures. And I got a lot planned on the weapon retextures. So we'll do armors first, see how much time we have, and then we'll start doing the weapon retextures. So that's it for now, guys. My name is Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.